We are talking about starting off the new year off right by getting our health on track. We are joined this morning by weight loss coach Ray Wetterland III, and uh, you're going to show us some tips to basically keep our health and our weight loss on track. Because a lot of times we start off strong with the new year, and then we get off track about a few weeks in. So tell us what we need to learn here this morning. Yeah, well, what it's, it's all about is is Americans and people, they're over-consuming, they're over-indulging on foods. They do not police their portions. So that's that's what we're really talking about here and why it's so, so important. And when you're in, in a restaurant, they're overfeeding us, giving us jumbo portions. So I'm just going to share some unusual tips to basically police your portions and beat the bulge. All right. So you say you should eat with your your hand that's not the one you normally use. Yeah. So if you're right-handed, use your left to eat. Yeah. Eat with your non-dominant hand. You should try that because <laughs> you'll, you'll find yourself, it, it's challenging, it's, it's finicky, it's time consuming consuming and so many people are just shoveling down food left and right and it actually it takes the, the body and the brain 20 minutes to signal how much food it eats really? so if you're just inhaling food then you're over consuming exactly yeah okay so we're gonna try this now yeah I'm let's let's do it I actually wouldn't think that this would be that hard but you're saying it's really going to slow me down. It's going to slow you down a little bit, and you want to you want to make sure you you chew. And um, so we just have have a nice piece of grilled chicken, okay. some salsa, and then we have black beans as, as a nice so little how meal. How much would you say this slows you down by eating with your with your non-dominant hand? Well, I, w I would say it definitely is slows slows down um, just the processing basically of your food. I know so many people are stuck in a rut, and you know th they're just trying to pack in their day with everything, eating on the go, on the run, and that's not what you want to do. So this is, is definitely going to slow you down. It does slow and me down. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Exactly. I thought it'd be easy, but it's not. <laughs> and remember, the first bite tastes the same as the 15th bite. Hmm. So people just eat and eat and eat and over-satiate themselves. So slow it down. Yeah. Okay, you also say you need to not let your food touch. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, so another little trick is, like just even with that plate that you just had, if your food is not touching, so the beans and basically the chicken, if all your food is touching, then your portion size is bigger. So it's a, it's a fun little trick that, that's going to help to police your portions and help teach you moderation. I like it. Okay, you also say dress the part. What do you mean? Well, I just mean so like if, if you're at, at a nice dinner or a nice lunch, wear your skinny jeans, oh. wear a suit, <laughs> something that's going to keep you conscious and, and about your food decisions and, and basically what, what you're eating. That does make you think about it. If you're wearing your tight pants. Right. That makes you think for sure. Because if, if you're overindulging and you're wearing skinny jeans, you're going to walk out of there and you're not going to feel happy. You're going to feel like you need to get on the, the treadmill and it's just going to keep you more conscious about what you're doing. And it's embarrassing to have to unbutton it when you're walking out too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you also say take a picture of your food. What do you mean? Yeah, so an another trick that you can do is you can take a snapshot of your picture. I recommend to take, take a picture three to five times a week of all your meals rather than recording all your food in a food log. Um, it's a great way that it's going to keep you more conscious about your food and you're not going to take pictures of Oreos and Twinkies and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's all health here. Makes you slow down and think about it. Okay, you also say use a salad plate. This is something my husband and I have started doing, and it does cut down on how much you eat because you can't fit as much on there. Exactly, and, that, and that's the thing when you're out at a restaurant and a regular size plates, they're so, so big. Mm -hmm. And teaching proper portion control using a salad plate, you can see here comparing the, the actual meal with the chicken and then there's some bell peppers there that you don't have a lot of room to work with. And the food's still not not touching so you can still and employ still, those techniques you still this is plenty right here yeah this is a good amount of food right exactly. there quit complaining huh right that's <laughs> right quit griping <laughs> all right ray wetterland thank you so much for being here we have a full screen to put up of your information you're actually based out of la jolla it's rw3 celebrity personal training we also have more information on our website fox5sandiego.com you can go there right now click on that scene on button you're helping keeping us skinny and in shape for the new year we yes it. All right, definitely Paul,